I'm going to show you several examples of expressions. They are maybe the same ones that we will use inside the course. So we have our composition here. What I would like to do is to create a rectangle just here. Okay. I will take the anchor point of the shape and put it in the middle of the rectangle. I will use snapping to get it 100% in the middle. Fine. I will deselect everything and come to the bottom and create a, an ellipse or a circle. I press Ctrl Shift, put it over there. Fine. This is my shape too. This is a circle. And this is the rectangle. Cool. I'm going to click on the circle. Come and take the anchor point and mid put it in the middle of the circle. Fine. Now I'm going to create an animation for the circle. I will open just position. Keyframe the position in the beginning. Go, for example, to two seconds. And hold my circle and move it over here. Fine. Now you have a very simple animation where the circle just goes from the beginning till the end. Now, what I would like to do is to have the square here or the rectangle to rotate while this circle is moving. Well, you might use parenting, but of course, it's not going to rotate because the circle is not rotating. The circle is moving on the position. So I will open rectangle. I need it to rotate, so I'll press R for rotation, obviously. I'm going to press alternate and click on the stopwatch. This will enable the expression. Now you notice here it has become red, meaning that value is run by this expression or these values here are taken from this expression. There is the equal sign, meaning this expression inside here is enabled. You have the graph, that means it appears in the graph editor and you have the pick whip and that's the most interesting and we'll work with it and we have the express and language menu where it gives you all the expressions that you have in after effects what i would like to do is that the rotation here the value of the rotation is taken from the position the x of course because the x is the one that is moving so anywhere in my timeline i can click on the pick whip and say go grab this value so you see, I can put it on position, but then if I put it on position, it will take both values. I want a single value, the X value, and release. Now let's look at this expression. This is really plain English. It says, within this composition, from layer circle, take from transform the position zero. It is zero because it starts zero, one, not one, two, so zero, one. So from this composition, from this layer circle, take position zero from the object transform. This comp is called an object, layer is an object, and transform is an object. And within it, there is an attribute or a variable or a value, if you want, which is position zero. Let's see exactly how our animation will run now. You notice while the circle is moving from left to right, the rectangle is rotating. Fine. Now, this is pretty simple. You know, you only use the pick whip to go choose the value. Okay. Now, my animation is running and it stops. And I want that. I want the circle to keep on coming and going. Cool. So, how will I do that? I will use an expression also for the circle. I will come to position here and also press alternate and click on the stopwatch. It gives me the normal transform.position, I will enter an expression here, it's called loop out. Of course, we are going to use that many times and you will learn about loop out and all the arguments that loop out can have. Loop out is going to loop while the animation in between the two keyframes. It means when it goes beyond this keyframe, it's going to start over. So it's always looping out this animation in between the two keyframes, the first and the last keyframe, of course. If you add more keyframes, then the loop out will work until the last keyframe and then start from the beginning. Let's look at our animation. That's pretty fine, but exactly that's not what I wanted. I don't want it to go back to the beginning. I want it to go to the right, then come back to the left and so on. So there is an argument that we can use in loop out. I will come in between 
the brackets i will open the double quotes and write ping pong when i run the animation run preview now this is quite nice while the ball is going left and right the square is rotating left and right you notice that when it's coming back it changes the direction of the rotation now that's pretty nice i want to add something small i want the value here to appear above here somewhere i will come to text and click and type let's say one two three so this is my text but uh, i don't want my text to be one two three i want it to have the value of the position that's very easy also i will come to text i'll open text and i have source text it has a stopwatch so i can press alternate and open the expression i will click on pick whip and drag to take the value of the x or the first value of position and i just click outside now it's giving me a big value if i run my animation cool now the text is getting its value from the circle position uh, let's look at this expression it says within this comp from layer circle use the value of the position within transform and it will give me value of the position zero now this is a very big figure i mean it has so many decimal points and i want it what can i do i can come to the expression here press home to go to the beginning and write this is a position p equal and click out nothing has changed fine i will come to the end of the line put semicolon that is, means there's an end of the line and i will say p equal and within the small arrow here i'm gonna go to javascript math and choose a round so math round round will round the value of p that's very nice so i can take the value here delete the word value and write p now let's read it again p equal from this composition from the layer circle take the position of the transformation then change the value to, of p by using math.round of the value itself and i click out and here you are you have a figure that is round fine i'll position the figure here run the animation that's pretty nice now and the ball is ping ponging now i want to add here something else okay that figure is going very high i'm gonna divide it by 10. so i will divide by 10 and look at it it has used a math function it's arithmetic plus minus division and so on okay now i want to add the percent at the end i will write plus open the double quotes type percent and close the double quotes so p now will be transformed into its round value and then you add plus percent let's click out great now i have the percent connected directly to the number cool now something else what i would like to do is that percentage to be always you know moving within the circle if the circle moves right the percent will also move with it so we're gonna connect if you use uh, parenting now we are going to parent everything else let's use an expression so i will come to the text layer open position and press alternate and click use the pick whip again and give it the position of the circle and we run our animation wow it's going diagonal because the position here has two variables and to give it a value you need two variables so what after effects did the first one he wrote temp equal this comp circle transform position zero and he replicated both values that's not what i want so i want the y value here to be the same y value so i could write value here but i want to use the pick whip so i will pick whip and say take that value i'll click out so now the value that is returned is first one the position from the circle that's fine and the second one is the position of its own so i can now move it up and down and you notice how the value is changing and it will stick but i cannot move it left and right or on the x-axis because it's connected to the uh, circle through the expression 
let's adjust the anchor point and put it just in the middle so now you know it is connecting the two anchor points let's play our animation and here you are now that's pretty cool the square is turning the circle is moving left right and the value in percentage at least i see it in percentage is appearing and the value is running with the circle that's pretty cool now i want to do something else here this select everything i'm gonna add a circle an ellipse tool just here a small one now this circle what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna parent it to the square that's a good example in fact so i will open parenting and parent it to the rectangle so the rectangle now is being rotated through an expression let's see what happens here you are now this is pretty amazing now, what's really really amazing is if i close all my layers and then choose them again and press u i have only two keyframes for all this animation of course this is a demo animation so if i wanted to do something you know meaningful that we will do in the course this animation will be very useful with two keyframes if i want to make it slower all i have to do is to move one keyframe so imagine if you're doing a project for a customer and he comes okay make it all slow and then okay if i use keyframes that will be i don't know 50 60 keyframes but in this case it's only one keyframe that i'm moving so i can make it pretty fast here i notice what's happening if you think the square is moving very fast but the circle speed is okay now let's go to a rectangle open the expression to open expression we press double e e e pretty fast and then i say okay return this by dividing it by let's say five so now it's gonna become pretty slow here you are you notice now the circle is very speedy but the square is moving quite slow now this is all about expressions actually we did one thing we used the pick whip and we chose our values wisely and we can show them like crazy and things will happen it's very interesting how we can make our work much easier we are no more limited to parenting we can write any expression we want and as you have seen it's pretty logical in adobe after effects what we will not be doing in this course is writing java scripts meaning a whole program where there is if and then and stories like this you know comparisons no we are going just to write expressions thank you very much for listening and i hope you understood why we must use expressions